Welcome back to Sailing NV. Join our family as we cruise the world on our recently converted Open 66. With our toddler, dog and multinational crew. We're currently cruising in Vanuatu in the South Pacific and with a new sunrise came another sail and another island to visit. We were headed for an island called Epi in search of a marine mammal we'd never seen before. A sea cow, or otherwise known as a dugong. I think the term sea cow comes from their slow nature and their grass eating habits. We were happy to find plenty of our friends in this bay who were excited to tell us about their dugong experience as they'd been lucky enough to spot them yesterday while snorkeling. So after a nice cup of coffee, we hopped in our dinghy and headed to the same place in the hope of getting to see one of these great creatures. We were expecting to find seagrass beneath the water's surface, as that's what dugongs like to eat, but it seemed we were in the wrong spot. Searching for the sea cow. Well, look, here. <laughs> oh, you're not to the first We're looking for the grass. <laughs> and the dugongs oh, having oh, their yeah. lunch. After a bit more searching, we gave up on our underwater hunt and went ashore to watch from the beach. Amazingly, Timo was lucky enough to walk past some locals who pointed out a dugong or two swimming in the shallow water right next to him. And this is the amazing footage he took of the encounter. Yeah, yeah. Sadly, by the time the rest of us reached Timo's prime dugong viewing position, the dugongs had gone. For anyone that's wondering what a dugong looks like, here's a nice photo that someone else took of one. So we decided to explore the shore a bit instead. Like in all the islands we've been to, the locals take a lot of care of their surroundings. Are you running? Are you running? I can't catch you, you're so fast. Unfortunately though, plastic rubbish is a bit of an issue in places like this. This island, Epi, has around seven times the population of the last island we were on, MA. And unfortunately, this was reflected in the amount of rubbish on the ground. We are here on the bay, what is the bay? Uh, Laman. Laman? Yeah. Laman Bay, where there is the amazing animal, the, cow, the sea cow. Now is the, I start from the beach to here. I take only the garbage very fresh. Less to the 12 hour. New one. 12 hour. Here? Wow. It's pretty new. Oh, uh, here, hang on, years. you're missing some. Yeah, that is a 24 hour. And here? We, we take it just to the clean one. If I take also the old one, it's too much. Okay. But I already posed the question to the locker. Huh? There is no garbage bin. Here? Yeah, that is too old. Yeah, our friend they say the Vanuatu is a lot of more clean to the Fiji. Oh, I think it probably is so far, but that's because there's less stuff here, do no. you think? 
I don't think. Mm -hmm. I really don't think. Maybe it's not, exactly the same. Is the problem is that yeah, maybe is, we just haven't been guys, in the town. that is the dumping. Yeah, that's the dumping. That is the dumping. Rubbish okay. Train. Well, we finish the experiment. We do three, no, 100 meter. Mm. That uh, is what I take from this morning. And that is where they're burning. Maybe it's because here we haven't been in the towns. That's why it doesn't seem so dirty. We don't feel good about leaving plastic on the ground, but up till now we haven't found a good solution for how we can help, other than talk to the locals about it. We've done a few beach cleanups, and our New Year's resolution is to do one every fortnight. However, we're struggling with what to do with what we collect, because often in the countries we're in, they don't have recycling processes in place and instead just burn it. The gong of the church is one oxygen bottle. <laughs> We'd love to team up with a company that makes a small machine to process this plastic in some way, to make it usable for something or just to compact it to make it easier to transport large amounts. If you know of anyone, please get in touch. Or if anyone has any other ideas about what we could do with the rubbish or how we could help, we'd love to hear from you in the comments. And of course, Hello. Nemo and Solo were as popular as ever. Solo making some friends. <laughs> It was starting to dawn on us that our time in Vanuatu was drawing to a close and soon it would be time to start thinking about one of the longest parts of our journey back to Europe, the passage through the Torres Strait to Indonesia. We started our cruising in Vanuatu in Port Resolution in order to visit the active volcano Mount Yasur on Tanna Island. Next we cruised up to the capital Port Villa on the island of Afate. This was the trip where we hit our top speed so far. After this we visited Pele in the north of Afate, which was where we had our water maker problems and nearly had to turn around. Our last stop was MA with the whale bones and now we're in Larman Bay in Epi and have just one stop left in Vanuatu before heading on to Luganville to prepare to clear out of the country. This last stop will be the island of Pentecost and it's definitely one not to be missed as it's home to the very special tradition known as land diving. This is where men jump off a wooden tower with only the vines of a banyan tree wrapped around their ankles. We can't wait to show you this in detail in the next few videos coming up. But with our departure in mind, we wanted to check out our storm sail, now, which we'd not looked at before. We have also, in perfect condition, I think, the emergency storm sail. I'm seeing something more scary. Ecco, abbiamo anche l'emergency dog. Okay, we try the emergency sail. A storm sail is a small durable sail specifically designed to be used in heavy weather. They're also typically made in a highly visible bright orange to make it easier to see the boat in dangerous conditions, to prevent collisions or to help in emergencies. No, it's got a zigzag, is that light? So we use it when there's lightning, yeah. when there's a storm. This storm sail came with the boat when we bought her and was originally designed to go on the front four stay. However, since we added a new middle stay during our refit, We modified the sail to fit on this new middle stay as that would be the easiest one to hoist it up and down on if we needed it. What do you think, Solo? You like our emergency sail? Dai, drop down the sail, amore. To do this, we decreased the length of this luff tape you can see here at the top of the sail. That's good, huh? Eh? Kiss. A rock band. Come, come, come. Come, come. Turtle. There he is, Nemo, there he is. Yay! There he is. Hey! And this was the evening when Nemo saw his first turtle. You see him? Yeah! Oh, there he is. Look at his little face. Come here. Right? Saying hello, Nemo. 
Another one of so many memories made during this time in Vanuatu <laughs> that won't be forgotten. Memories like this make all the stressful days and weeks and months on the hard stand during the refit all worthwhile. And as usual, we ended the day in our favourite way with a fire on the beach with good friends. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy these videos, it helps us a lot if you can do the usual and like, subscribe and comment. And if you're able to help us a bit more and share it with your friends, that would be awesome. If you really want to see more frequent content from us, the best thing you can do to help us to get more out there is to sign up to our Patreon or Coffee community. Thank you. Vaga! 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 Three hours for go show. Vaga! 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 Forza! Vaga! Woman! Pump! Cazzo! Vaga! 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 Dai pump! Vaga! Vaga! Please, can we have a passage? Do you have a water? Vaga! Vaga! But we can give some woman! We exchange a woman with water! Vaga! Vaga! Okay! We check the speed of my crew with an avionics. Okay, we have to watch the weather because before to arrive, we can have a real big problem. You go in the wrong direction, you know? Allora, we have one course we have to do uh, for, for the shore, we have a, a one quarter of miles. We have to do one quarter, little bit less to the quarter of miles. And uh, the Voga, we check your speed. Voga, Voga, Voga. Die, move. 1.1, 1.6, 1.8, 1.7, go! Vast, go! Go! <laughs> it's 1.8, 1.6, 1 1.5. Voga. Vai, go! Go! MV crew, go! Emergency! <laughs> we have the rescue! The Ozzy Kiwi rescue us! Maya! Dio and Rachel, they come to rescue us! Yes! Yes, please! Hey, man! You are in YouTube. <laughs> Thank you for the rescue. We start to finish the water.